When I say copper we, you say copper what? Copper we. Copper we. Copper we oh. Hi my loves, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi. My name is Gift, aka Black Introvert, and thank you so much for stopping by today. Make yourself comfortable by clicking the subscribe button, okay? Click that subscribe button right now. Have you clicked it? Okay. <laughs> As you guys can see from the title today, we are all about NYRC, honey. It's passing out season, okay? I can't believe it. I'm passing out. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. One year serving this country, Nigeria. Like free Alawi. <laughs> so for today's video, I'm going to be answering some questions around NYSC that I have received from strangers, from people who you know has been intrigued by um serving Nigeria because like it or not, so many people are praying for their children oh my god my my hair sorry <laughs> so many people are praying for their children for their loved ones to serve okay so these are some of the questions that i have had about nysc even before i started and i couldn't find answers i couldn't get the kind of videos i wanted okay so i wrote down um 10 questions surrounding this nysa and all you need to know i feel like this question would touch like you know almost everything you need to know about serving in nigeria and mm, very useful you know if you want to serve in lagos i got you <laughs> so the first question that i feel like anyone who is a jjc so what I'm talking about, we'll be asking is, what is NYSC? NYSC stands for National Youth Service Corps. After you graduate from your university, um, you designate one year to serve Nigeria, like to serve our country. So they will post you to any state. So this, this is the scheme, yeah? They, they will just, it's like a raffle draw, okay? They'll just throw you to any state. You know, and in Nigeria, everybody is scared of going to the north. Everybody is scared of going to the north. So it's always like, ah! you know, it's not like the US that people are like, oh yeah, take me to Atlanta, take me to this, take me to California, yada, yada, yada. Like, you know, people want to explore. But for Nigeria, people are scared. For me, yeah, I wanted to trust the universe. I don't go, I want to, I want to go to Akwa Ibom. I've heard so many nice things about Kwaibom, about you precisely, and I've told myself that when I have the when I have the chance to travel outside Lagos briefly, I want to go to Uyu. And I just said, okay, let me let me let me put my hands in the faith of NYSC, and then when I got posted, I got posted to a Kwaibom. <laughs> Obviously, I relocated back to Lagos because my life is in Lagos. My livelihood is in Lagos. How did you shop for camp? Um, well, I had my friend, um, a cosmate, Chioma, and we are actually, you know, kind of close. She served like a batch before me. But Chioma already had all the details of what to get from camp and the, for camp and then she gave it to me so that was how i was able to shop for camp let me tell you the basics like don't carry but if you don't want to carry so much loot like if you want to go with just one box these are the basics so yeah. go with three white shirts three um white um shirts one sneakers three sets three set of socks white socks and then um go with a fanny pack and then one water bottle and then a food flask okay you you would need a food flask and then a bucket also and get a bucket yeah so i think i'll just leave the list <laughs> on the screen so screenshots you know, and just ask your friends like ask people around you call make one or two calls ask about two or three friends oh what did you get for camp what did you get for camp you know and then yeah you can work your course what is the camp experience like the camp experience is a once 
in a lifetime experience you like you are being mixed into a crowd of people from different societal places from different cultures from different like ethnicities like places you don't even know about like you hearing different schools man like it's so amazing like you are you are in the midst of people like that's just how I put it and as someone who you know gets anxious you know with crowd and everything social anxiety it wasn't even bad for me because I knew that it was temporary like this is just you know three weeks and I'll be out of here so nothing here is forever so I knew that after these three weeks I'll get my life back okay, waking up 3 a.m. every day to fetch to fetch water and to bathe and to brush the bathroom mm, I didn't like that okay I didn't like that um, um, parade where, where I'll be walking around in the grass. I didn't like that parade. I didn't like the punishments. Like, I didn't like some things. Uh, I didn't like some things. Uh, regardless of the fact that I didn't like some things, you know, which is normal. I won't like some things in life. But that doesn't make it less fun because it's a one in a lifetime experience. That's just the best way I can put it. If you're going to camp, just, just go with a free mind accept the world accept the people you know breathe them in i know that this is just three weeks after three weeks you're gonna get your freaking life back don't take anything too serious like don't don't let anybody anger you for no reason don't fight nobody because it's like girl it's just three weeks after three weeks i won't even know you exist like bruh can you find love in camp no, you don't see all the places to find love. Now, can't be find love. But honestly, I feel like people who actually lucky have that question because you are in the midst of different people, like handsome guys, sexy girls. Like yeah, you are in the midst of a lot of people. Like, are you telling me you cannot fall in love? Yada yada yada. But for me, I feel like. Uh, Nah, if you want to, I get why you want to because you know the, the euphoria is gonna be there. Like, I mean, oh my god, a random guy from nowhere, like it's giving fairy tale, but at the same time, it's giving mm, I don't know this person well enough. Like, who are you just because I met you in NYSE camp? Like, who are you truly behind doors? And then like who are you after we leave this camp? Like I have trust issues, baby. So like I don't trust I don't I don't trust niggas like that. Yeah. You can you can be Mr. Romantic, you know, try to be romantic at the camp, but I'm just giving you one side eye because I'm like outside this camp, yeah. You can't tell me you're not fucking nobody, like so stop the cap, okay? <laughs> stop the cap, okay? My answer to that is like it's one of the weakest places to find love. People there are hurting as fuck, okay? Three weeks, so people cannot control themselves. They are like freaking as honey. So they're looking for the, the, the fastest way of releasing their, 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 their stress, okay? And then you, you are the girl, and they are whining you, that playing with your head. And then after camp, you take it to the hotel room, and then they'll lash you out. I'm telling you as a girl that that's viable because what I saw in my eye, my mouth cannot talk. Yes. How do you relocate? Now, if you are being posted to a state, like the way I was posted to Akwai Bomb, you can go to the camp, and then after three weeks at the camp, you can apply for relocation to the state of your choice. But you can only um, relocate, I think, on three grounds i think maybe if you're married um if you have health issues and then i i think i can't remember the last one okay they basically give you a form to fill at the camp if you want to apply for relocation and then you state your reason why and you cross your fingers and hope that they relocate you <clears throat> that's that's it so that's how i did mine i applied on um mental um health grounds okay yeah i told them i'll run mad if i yeah i literally i literally wrote on my nyc sheet that if you don't post me back to lagos i'll run mad because my life is here. <laughs> 
I swear that's what I wrote. I wrote my life is here. Like, girl, I am. Don't, don't, don't make me suicidal. Like, bro, I let them know. Like, girl. how does seven in Lagos feels like? Hmm. So now, seven in Lagos is a very nice experience for me, for me, and that's because my life right now is in Lagos. Okay, so. The fact that I'm able to continue working, um, attend to my business, and then go for my CDS and come back, and my business is still blooming, and I'm eating NYS money, you know, it's great, yeah. Yeah, it's okay, I like it, yeah. And you know, it's more developed than other states, so there are more opportunities, I think, here in Lagos. What benefits do you get for serving your country? Actually, yeah, you get a lot of amazing benefits like no cap. I would applaud Nigerian government a bit for this NYSC program. Before we get to the financial benefits, I'll give you some other benefits. And at very, very discounted prices, you can pay for classes, you can learn skills. Like if you want to learn a skill, you can use the Said program, yes, the Said program, and um, empower yourself. If you want to start something for yourself and like you have, no, like you are, you are broke, broke, broke. With NYSE Said program, you can learn a skill, like for real, for real. Aside the Said um, program, um, we are being paid monthly. So for the entire one year that you are serving Nigeria. They'll be paying you monthly allowance okay how did you spend your alawi so i'm passing out on thursday and i've received my last alawi and i'm sad because i'm sad i'm not sad but like that money <laughs> but anyways um i'm going to be very brutally honest with you guys on how I spent my alawi. Um, now, for me, the fact that I'm already self-employed, I am not dependent on the alawi money. Okay, um, I had the opportunity to just toss the money aside and not use it for a long while. Okay, so for the first six months. I did not spend my alawi whatsoever so I think I had almost I don't know yeah I think it's six seven months I don't know I think I had almost 200,000 or so at that point accumulated I used that money I think yeah, about 200,000 I used that money to um, add to my house rent <laughs> to add into my house rent money and then the remaining um, about 870 something thousand I haven't eaten the money it's still in my account <laughs> um, but okay I have plans for that money when the time comes to to do something with that money but you guys will know it's either I use it to change my phone I'll add it to money I'll add it to my money to change phone or, or I'll use it to fix my car because my car is like a mechanic you know I don't know yet but I know that I would use that money for something if you could do it all over again, would you? Capital letter N O No Like Why? It's once It's once almost had me that thing in me Her name is Akari Ufu Piko No No I can't I can't can't But would I take the money all over again, yeah? That's an evil girl I don't think I want to subject myself to that stress again. Like I'm too soft for that stress. Like my body's like no, no baby girl, no baby girl. I wouldn't do it again for the life of me. Okay, but I enjoyed it. Okay, I have memories that I can look back on and smile at. You know, I can I can see people on their NYS uniform and feel and be like. Mm. Been there, done that, you know. <laughs> yeah, I had an amazing time filming this video, and I feel like it's because I am passing out. Like, oh my god, on Thursday, 
the day I see this video, I've taken my certificate. Like, I've taken it, I've taken it, I've taken it. And I want to give a special thanks. A special thanks to my father, to my daddy. My dad, okay, because that man, that man is the real Odogun, okay? He sponsored everything. Like, that, that man actually tried, like, nah. He really tried, like, he was the person that even made me do it. Like, left to me, I was not ready to serve. Like, that man just called me on, on a random September last year. <laughs> I just told me, I'm actually, <laughs> go and register for NYSC now. Please now, like, please now. Go and do it. Yeah, go and do it. Okay, I will sponsor it. Is it the money? Yeah, don't worry about it. I will sponsor the money. Just go and do your NYSC. Go and collect certificate. And I say, okay. Yeah, we are the one that talk that you will sponsor it too. So, no wala. And the man chest all the bills. Like, in chest time, in chest A round of applause, a round of applause. That man and the other one. Um, now that I'm done, um, my life can just go back to how it was, basically. I wish everyone who is passing out a wonderful year as a you know, job seeker, if you are job seeking, and I pray that the market favors you, okay? Um, that is it for my love for this video, okay? My shirt is dirty because I want to wash it now. <laughs> I just wanted to film this video before I wash it. Um, that's why. But anyways, my loves, thank you so much for tuning for tuning in today. It was nice to have you here. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed. Okay, subscribe to the channel so that you can you know get to watch more of my videos. I do vlogs. I'm all taste out, so I do some ravey EDM shit on this channel, so you know what I'm talking about. But anyways, stay tuned my loves, I'll see you guys on my next upload, bye! I love you!